On this week's show, we find ourselves in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania, as we pay a visit to A-Liner and get a first-hand look at how they build those fantastic A-Liner folding trailers. And we join Jeff Johnston as he checks out the Dodge 3500 pickup and Jayco Eagle 322. All this and more coming up on this episode of Rolling on TV. Rolling on TV is brought to you by Jayco, America's most livable RVs, and SkyMed. At SkyMed, we guarantee to take you home. I'm sure many of you have seen these low box looking trailers on the highway from time to time and thought, well, there goes another tent trailer. Maybe. Or could it also be an A-liner? What's an A-liner? Well, to find out, we visit the A-liner factory and headquarters in Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania and meet with Ned Collins, A-liner CEO, and see what goes into building these smart-looking, practical camping trailers. First of all, I asked Ned to tell us a little history about A-liner and how it all got started. A uh, company was formed officially in 1984, um, but the history was it started as a garage business of a gentleman in the late 1970s. Uh, and his sons, when they graduated high school and college, turned it into a business and incorporated in 1984. And was this the first A-frame camping trailer? There's probably examples of uh, handmade and minor production made A-frames from the 70s and 60s out in the West Coast. Uh, but A-Liner was the first uh, production made A-frame to my knowledge. Ned also explains about the facility and production line. We operate out of one facility here in Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, which is outside of Pittsburgh. Uh, we have a 120,000 square foot uh, facility, mixed office and production. Uh, we currently have uh, 35 some odd people on staff, uh, the vast majority of which are in the production assembly uh, line. And just how many A-liners are built at this facility? Production changes with the season. Uh, RV buying season is really the first nine months of the year and very slow the, the last three. Uh, so we increase and decrease production using overtime hours and uh, short-term uh, employees throughout the year. But we have the ability to produce between four and seven campers on a daily basis. Coming up after the break, we'll continue our talk with Ned and see the steps that go into building an A-liner. <laughs> <laughs> 